Hey Rose, it's Friday, January 10th. Now, there's something that's been in the news this week and I really wanted to talk about it because it's important to me. In our society, we throw around the term hero pretty loosely. No, not Euro, hero. Did someone say hero? Oh god, not you. Oh no, you're supposed to say, oh, it's Captain Plausible. I'm not gonna say that. Come on, say my name. Nope. You are a perfect example of what I've been talking about. You were never in the military, and you've never even been on a boat. So, what does that have to do with anything? What makes you a captain? Ha! You said the first part. Damn it. Seriously though, what was the last heroic thing that you've ever done? Well, this morning, I rescued a cat from a tree. You climbed up a tree and got a cat down. No, I called the fire department. I didn't even know that they still did that. They don't. Nobody showed up. So how did you get the cat down? I didn't. None of that actually happened. So you made up a story to prove to me that you're a hero, and you didn't even make yourself the hero of the story? I didn't think that you would believe me. You didn't think that I would believe that you rescued a cat? I mean, the story's at least plausible. Ha! You said it! Can I be in your video now? <sighs> Fine, whatever, but be quiet. Yes! So let's talk about real heroes. Most people can name some pretty bad people, but can you name even three real heroes? Other than myself? No, I wasn't talking to you and you're not a real hero. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, huh? Nuh-uh. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. yeah. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Well, off the top of my head, I can think of one. On Monday morning in Pakistan, Atazaz Bengash and his cousin were on their way to school when a man in their school uniform asked them where the school was. Atazaz was very suspicious of this man. He started questioning him and began chasing him down when they neared the school. At this point, the man revealed that he had an explosive device attached to his body. Without even thinking, Atazaz sacrificed himself and tackled the suicide bomber at the gate of his school at which point the man detonated the bomb, killing both himself and Atazaz. Inside the school, nearly 2,000 children were organized for morning assembly, and they all surely would have been killed if the bomber were able to make it in the school. Atazaz Bengash was 14 years old. Now that is a hero. Wow. I know, right? Would you have done something like that? I might have done something like that, but it probably would have been a little bit more like running away and screaming. I hate to say it, but I think that we have something in common there. Atazaz is clearly a better person than me, and definitely a better person than you. Hey, it makes me really proud knowing that there are people like Atazaz Bangash in the world. Thank you, Atazaz. Yes, thank you. You are a real superhero. Man, all this hero talk is making me hungry. You want to go get some gyros? <sighs> I hate you. But yeah, that sounds good. Okay, let's yes! go. Rose, I'll see you on Monday. I won't. I got cats to save. What?